What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we're doing a mailbox clean out of my uh, all my transmog basically farm the transmog craft the transmog and then I have it on two characters one with gray and white transmog and well this bank with everything else and this is pretty much how I'm able to play the game for free because this alone generates uh, more than enough gold in order to play the uh, the game for free and purchase every single expansion using gold only and everything is pretty straightforward but disclaimer it does take some time investment and or gold investment to get started but once you have it up and running you're able to make a lot of gold without spending too much time on it so all of this if you want to get into it is uh on the crafted transmog spreadsheet which you will find inside the zero to 10 million gold guide so if you already have that, make sure to go to the correct page and take a look at that. And if you don't, you can find the gold guide linked uh, down below in the description. And don't forget to use the discount code DRAGONFLIGHT for 50% off. Now, on this bank this week, I've sold 229 transmog items, which isn't that good. That's that's a weak uh, that, that's a weak number in uh, like a seven days time. Uh, and uh, we're going to go through the auctions and mention uh, everything or talk about everything that's really bad and also really good. Uh, the first thing that I see is that I sold the Heimel Magi Scarf again for 6.6k. Uh, the Heimel Magi Scarf is, um, it is like way higher in market value. Look at this. It has 120,000 gold region market value average. Uh, it is a wad item, like a wad, uh, like world drop wad epic item. And I've sold this uh, on a weekly basis now for less than 10,000 gold. So uh, nothing to really celebrate. Uh, I have also sold these in the past for over 100,000 gold. So there's that. Uh, if we go further down, we can see that I sold a random uh, item level 229 cloak from Sarah of Mortis, unique item. So that's really good. Some engineering items, a bunch of minor crafted items, but also some minor uh, farm transmog. Onyxia scale cloak still selling, so that's pretty cool. Uh, is there anything else worth mentioning? Barbaric cloth vest from Sludge Fen or Wailing Caverns. Deep Tide from uh, Nasiatar, but only 72,000 gold in the first 100 auctions. I mean, if it continues like this, this is going to be the worst week that I've had in years. But I already know that it's not going to be uh, too bad of a week. Uh, and shit, I'm gold capped. Uh, hold on. Got to send away some gold. Let's see. Because uh, I've uh, already taken a sneak peek at the mailbox. And as you can see, the next 100 auctions. Well, it's not the next 100 auctions because I was a cap. But 552,000 gold. And that is because, let's see, let's go down. Uh, Black Guard Crafted, Barbaric Loincloth uh, is also from Sludge Fen or Wailing Caverns. Salt Stone Belt from RFD or uh, Admiral's Den. 8,000 gold for Seraph Mortis item. Ceremonial is also Sludge Fen. Uh, where do we have it? Glorious Leg Plates, 8.5k. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. 8.5k Ancestral Woolies. And tunic, and there we go. The Varit guillotine from Seraph Mort is sold for 450,000 gold. Now, that's a really cool weapon, and I've been selling a lot of them. Like, if we take a look at the Varit, you can see that I already uh, have one up on the auction house, two of them, in fact. And it's a unique uh, item from Seraph Mortis. It looks really good. And the last two that I sold, I sold one for 1.2 million and one for 700k. So an average price of 964k. Obviously, the average of 964 is going to go slightly down. And now that I sold one for 450,000 gold. Uh, but still, like this sale right here definitely saved the week so far. Also sold a chest from Isle of Thunder, a grizzly chest uh, sludge fen again. So uh, Sludge Fen is doing really well. It always has. Sludge Fen is the hands down one of the best uh, transmog farms that you can do even solo to fill up the auction house with relatively fast selling mogs. Uh, now let's take a look. The last 66 auctions is only 60,000 gold. Uh, Heimel Magi Scarf again, the Wad Epic item. This uh, Spire is also a Seraph Mortis item. 
Harmonian Helm is also Seraph Mortis. Nothing really cool on that one, though. Um, let's see what the total amount of gold is. I'm not sure if this is going to include the, the first 60,000 gold that I cleaned out. Uh, but since sending away gold, I've already uh, received, yeah, 612,000 gold. Plus, uh, like, the, the 60, 70,000 gold that I had. So we're almost at 700,000 gold before logging on to the white and gray item tune. And um, this tune right here, I don't really do a lot on it. Like, sometimes when I do transmog farms or dungeons and I see that I've received some gray or white items with a unique appearance, I will send it to this tune. And then I also craft, like, the basic white items from the professions. Uh, as well as the Shadowlands Bates uh, legendary items. Uh, so this week I made 43,000 gold with 73 auctions sold, but like some of these prices, by the time they sell, they've been undercut down to the ground, right? But every now and then you do get some nice Shadowlands base um, Lego sales. But 44,000 uh, gold on that one, which means that I made right above 700,000 gold this week. Yeah, so it would have been a relatively bad week if it wasn't for the Varret sale, right? So I definitely got saved by that one. But that's how it is most weeks. Some weeks you can have uh, not a single sale above 50,000 gold, but you still make 600,000 gold. Other weeks uh, you would have had like two, 250,000 gold if it wasn't for that one big sale. Uh, but I do... I, it's very rare that I fall beneath uh, 500,000 gold. It's usually between five to 700k, where some weeks are better than others due to these big ticket sales, right? Uh, but if you guys got any questions uh, on this uh, subject or anything uh, WoW-related, please let me know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide and also the VIP Discord, both being linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.